everybody. My name is TN Lawrence, and thank you for tuning in to the official Mesa Boogie Prodigy demo video. In this video, we'll go over the front and rear panel features, as well as playing examples showcasing just some of the different sounds and styles available from this compact and powerful new bass amp. But before we get started, just a couple of thoughts on the virtues of tube amplification for bass. When everything is lined up, your attack, your approach, and your gear's response, this is where the band sounds tighter and it just gets fun to play. Tube amplifiers deliver a three-dimensional experience that just can't be achieved from other amplifier styles. The Prodigy delivers this in spades and you just have to play it to experience it. Preamp wise, if you're a fan of the Bass 400 Plus, our Impulse or the Carbine series or the other classic bass amps, there's something in the tone controls and the voice modes of the Prodigy for everyone. Starting with the left hand side of the front panel, we have the input jack, which feeds the first 12AX7 tube stage, and the input select switch. Bright offers the greatest high frequency detail of the three, while normal rolls off some of the brilliance of Bright to deliver a more classic or vintage voice. Active provides a lower impedance input. The input headroom is increased by about 2 dB and active is essentially the bright input with a pad. Beyond the obvious, you can also use the input selections for things like bright being used to provide more detail for a darker bass or dead strings, or using normal to reduce the brightness of a bright instrument, cabinet, or speakers. And feel free to use the active input with either style of bass when searching for tones or compatibility. First up is the gain control. This is a very important control defining either how tight and clean, fat or blooming, or clipped and driven you want your tone. Settings between 10 to 1130 deliver a fast, clean response. From around 1130 to 2 showcases classic tube fatness. And at 2 o'clock and above, you'll introduce preamp growl and overdrive depending on your instrument and your attack. The tone controls of the Prodigy feature active bass and treble controls, while the mid control stays a tried and true passive style mid. The active controls provide a wide range of cut and boost within a well-defined musical cue for both the bass and treble frequencies. The mid remains a passive cut only control as it's always been in Mesa amps for its inherently smooth taper and musical blend. The voice control is another powerful control that can dramatically reshape your tone. Position three is considered flat, no cut or boost. Positions 1 and 2 are sonic descendants of Mesa's 400 plus preamp with broad wide lows and shimmering high end. One and two serve well for thumbing and slap styles or fat wide finger style approaches.
Positions four and five pay their respects to classic sounds in rock bass. These modes deliver low mid kick, cut, and steely growl when played with a pick. Both modes are great anywhere more of a piano string clarity is needed. The master control feeds the power section to control your overall volume, and it also feeds the effect send control. This switch provides a manual mute option as well as a silent record mode. Silent record allows you to use the tube preamp and tone controls of the Prodigy in the post DI setting for direct recording without a load. The mute LED is lit and no signal is allowed to the power section when you're in the silent record mode. Mesa's patented multi-watt power option allows you to choose between full and half power, 250 watts with all four power tubes, and 125 watts with two power tubes. Half power can be the secret weapon for recording or small venues, especially for vintage styles and sounds. The Prodigy DI controls are on the front panel for easy access in recording and live applications. DI Pre sends your bass output unaffected to the XLR DI output. Post includes the Prodigy's tube preamp, tone controls, voice settings, and any effects connected in the effects loop. The patented Mesa Solo control allows you to boost your playing volume above your current master setting with the foot switchable solo level. The power switch controls the main AC line voltage while the standby switch applies the high voltage to the power tubes after they've been warmed up. Due to the high voltage nature of KT88 power tubes, Mesa recommends a longer warm up before switching standby to on. Three minutes is the preferred warm up. Before we wrap things up, let's take a quick look at the rear panel features of the Prodigy. Starting on the left, you'll find the fuse holder and AC inlet. Next up are the external switching jacks for controlling mute, solo, and the voice modes. The voice function is foot switchable between your current voice selection and the default position 3. You can control this function with the optional Prodigy foot switch or by using a standard tip to ground on off switch in the voice switch jack. In addition to mute, solo, and voice switching, the dedicated Prodigy foot switch includes an effects loop on-off switch, as well as a tuner output jack at the foot switch, fed through the DIN cable. Now all you need is a short cable to use a tuner at your pedal board or next to your foot switch. The Prodigy effects loop is a high-quality buffered series loop. When nothing is plugged into the send or return, the loop is bypassed, removing any loop circuitry from your signal chain. The tuner output receives instrument signal right off the input and is buffered so that longer runs of cable aren't an issue. 
The slave is a line level output derived from the speaker jacks, providing both preamp and power section tone. Its main use is as an output to additional power sections and cabinets for large venue rigs. The Prodigy's 1 8 ohm and 2 4 ohm speaker outputs accommodate the widest variety of common speaker connections you'll want to make. They also provide a valuable auto mute safety feature if you forget to connect your cabinet to your amp. If no cables are connected to the amp when set to play, the Prodigy remains in its auto mute protect mode. The red LED lit indicates the mute mode. If you connect a speaker to these jacks, the mute LED goes out. This protects your amp from a dangerous no load condition, no speaker being connected, with one exception, the cable not being connected at the cabinet end. Always make sure you have a speaker connected to your amp before playing. And finally, the DI XLR output is a balanced out for connecting your Prodigy direct with live mixing consoles or recording equipment. This is the jack you'll use in silent recording situations, capturing the Prodigy's amazing preamp, voice, and tone controls in the post-DI mode. Well, that wraps it up for this official overview of the features and just some of the tones the Prodigy 488 has to offer. More than anything, you have to feel what this amp offers to believe it. Get down to your local dealer and check it out. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us via phone, email, or social media. Let our customer service reps answer any questions you may have on the Prodigy or any other Mesa products. The art of bass playing, the role of bass in the band, and your musical expression stands to take a big step up with the power of vacuum tubes and the Prodigy. Thanks for watching.